Your monthly subscription box from PostFlyBox.com includes all the materials needed to tie a dozen flies, along with some extra goodies. Although the witch's broom can be used to catch a variety of warm water fish species, it's really designed for big toothy predators like northern pike and muskie. To begin, pick up one of the large bass bug style hooks and get it firmly secured in the jaws of your tying vise. Then load a bobbin with a spool of yellow unithread. Get the thread started on the hook shank behind the eye and take a few wraps rearward before snipping off the tag. Continue taking thread wraps until your thread is located at a point about one third of the way down the shank. Orange crystal flash is used to add some sparkle to the pattern. Snip eight to 10 strands free from the hank, then locate their approximate midpoint. Place this midpoint against the near side of the hook at the location of your tying thread and take a few touching wraps rearward to secure it. Pull the half of the material that points forward back along the far side of the hook and take wraps to secure it there. The idea is to have an equal amount of crystal flash on either side of the hook. Continue taking thread wraps to make sure the material is bound down really well. Using your fingers or a comb, tease up a one inch square of yellow craft fur and snip it off as close as you can to the backing. Strip out most of the lower shorter fibers from the clump. It's worth taking the extra time to do this well as it'll make tying in the material a good bit easier. With the tips of the craft fur pointing rearward, align them with the ends of the crystal flash. While keeping this measurement, use your tying scissors to snip the excess butt ends off square. Carefully flip the clump around in your hands, doing your best to keep the butt ends aligned. Place the snipped off butt ends on top of the hook shank at the location of your tying thread and do two light pinch wraps to loosely secure the fur. You can then squeeze the clump and work it down and around so the material encircles the entire hook shank. Take a few tight thread wraps forward over top of the material. Using a straw, an empty ballpoint pen, or here a short length of plastic tubing, press the material back toward the rear of the hook and hold it there with the fingers of your left hand. While keeping the material swept back, take a few wraps rearward with your tying thread to hold the material roughly in that position. Next, pick up the brown craft fur and this time snip about half the amount of fur as you did before from the backing. Repeat the entire cleaning, measuring, snipping off the excess, and tie-in procedure as you did with the yellow craft fur. The idea is to get the brown fur to lay back over top of the yellow. Now you can move on to the orange craft fur, this time taking another full square inch as you did with the yellow. Yet again, the whole procedure of getting it cleaned, trimmed, and tied in is exactly the same. Finally, snip off and clean a one inch clump of the red craft fur and tie it in the same way you did the other clumps. On the final part of the tie-in, however, before the fur is pushed back, take thread wraps forward all the way to the back edge of the hook eye, then rearward to the back edge of the tie-in. Again, use a tube or similar to press the material back, but here take wraps around the craft fur for about a quarter of an inch behind the eye. Keep taking thread wraps to clean up and flatten this area out, then trim away any wayward fibers. The idea is to produce a nice smooth quarter inch long space. When you're happy with the result, pick up your whip finish tool and do a five or six turn whip finish, seat the knot well, and snip your tying thread free. Using your bodkin or a hobby knife, pick up one of the adhesive backed 3D eyes and stick it to the near side of the hook behind the hook eye. Pick up another 3D eye and adhere to the far side of the hook. Squeeze out a small amount of UV cure resin onto a piece of scrap paper or here a sticky pad. Then pick up some of it with your bodkin. Use it to fill in the area on top of the hook shank between the two eyes, then use your UV torch to cure the resin. Flip the fly over and do the same on the underside of the hook to secure the bottom half of the eyes. Now, go back and use more resin to fill in the spaces both top and bottom between the two eyes, then cure the entire head with the UV torch. 
The idea is to build up a bulbous, nearly spherical head on the fly. And that's the witch's broom, ready to do battle with the biggest and meanest of fish.